Arise, go to Nineveh, that great city, and call out against it, for their evil has come up before me. But Jonah rose to flee to Tarshish from the presence of the Lord. He went down to Joppa and found a ship going to Tarshish. So he paid the fare and went down into it to go with them to Tarshish, away from the presence of the Lord. Jonah's immediate response to the call of God was to run. And be, before we're, we're too critical or self-righteously judgmental of Jonah, you have to understand this call of God. Uh, what God asked Jonah to do was in no way ever going to be easy. This, the evidence is this is a country boy, and God is calling him to one of the greatest cities of that generation. That call itself would be personally and culturally intimidating. Uh, he was going to a place unlike anything he had ever experienced uh, around people that he wouldn't naturally relate to. And you'll notice that, that God's call is not for Jonah to comfor comfortably lob grenades of truth from a distance. God is basically saying, I want you to uproot yourself and I want you to move there. I'd like you to think about your own life. Where is God calling you to do something hard? Where is God calling you to do something that takes you out of the comfortable way you'd like to live life? Who are hard people that God has put you near? What are hard things that God is calling you to do? Where are you struggling to do the hard things that God's calling you to do? Hard things with your money that doesn't actually belong to you. Hard things with your time that doesn't actually belong to you. Hard things with the people around you that don't act aren't actually possessions for your happiness. What hard thing is God calling you to? And how are you responding to the hard call of God? Let's be honest. Can I be honest with you? I don't know why I'm asking permission. I'm going to be. You, your Christianity is not defined by Sunday morning when you're throwing your head back and singing some kind of worship song. That's the easy call of God. That doesn't define your Christianity at all. never has. And you shouldn't evaluate how close you are to God and how much you've surrendered to His plan because you can attend a service and get excited about great music and great teaching. It's Tuesday night when some, someone is bugging the stuff out of you and God has chosen for you to live next to a person who in every way irritates you, that how much you're surrendering to the call of God is made clear because God says you're supposed to love your neighbor as yourself no matter what. When God calls you to not treat your money as your own and you don't have much and having a little money isn't an excuse to not be generous and not be supportive of the plan of God, how are you responding to that hard call? When God chooses something to enter your experience that you would have never planned for yourself, something that's hard and difficult when the unexpected and the unwanted and the unplanned enters your door, how do you respond? Do you question the goodness of God? Do you question His presence? Do you look over the fence and envy somebody's life? Or do you say, you're Lord. You can lead me anywhere you want to lead me. My rest is not in my circumstances. My rest in you. How are you responding to the hard call of God? 